Hi, and please welcome Learn to Speak Algerian today. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna learn more about the Berbers. Don't forget to hit the button subscribe to have more news about Algeria, the language, the culture. So who are the Berbers? You perhaps saw this flag uh, in social media around the world, uh, share, people sharing this flag. To who belongs this flag? So this is the flag of the Amazigh, the indigenous people that have occupied North Africa since the dawn of recorded history. They fought against Romans, Arabs, Ottomans, Spanish and French. And they battled for their own recognition. They call themselves the Amazigh. Berbers have their own culture and language separate from the Arab world. They inhabit a region known as the Maghreb or Tamazra. In Berber language, the borders are from the Siwa Oasis to the Canary Island and from the Mediterranean to Niger and Senegal rivers. This area covers 7 million square kilometers. It's a lot of space. If this area will unify, it will be considered as the seven largest country around the world. So you get it? No politics. Okay, no politics. The Berber call themselves Amazi, which is means the free noble man. The word Berber, the word Berber comes from the uh, Roman uh, noun Barbaroi. And Barbaroi means the people who don't speak Greek. So they are called Barbaroi. When the Arabs conquered North Africa, they uh, found that they still are called Barbaroi. So they changed it from Barbaroi to Al Barbar in Arabic. And when the European came, conquered North Africa, especially French and Spanish, they changed it from Barbar to Berber. So the Amazigh are the first uh, citizens, let's say the first uh, people that lived in North Africa. Let's take a look to the Amazigh flag. The blue is the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. The green is the Amazigh, the land they come from. And the yellow is the desert. And the red yellow symbolizes a free man, which is also known as Amazigh. The word Amazigh means the free noble man, Amazigh. Even though North Africa is regarded predominantly Arab, most North African consider themselves Arabs. So they see they are Arabs or Berbers? I think only the DNA will respond to this question. More than 30 million Amazigh live across the region and they face a number of challenges. Since decades, they are demanding official recognition of their own language. In 2011, Morocco recognized it. And four years after, Algeria did it too. Both countries have also recently started teaching Tamazigh at public schools. These changes marked an ease in tensions between the Amazigh and their respective government. But the Amazigh right now, they are still struggling for language recognition and cultural rights and their heritage and culture still continue to live across the region. Amazigh or Arabs, they are Algerians. And the Algerian language is a mix of the Arabic, Berber, Ottoman language all in the same one sentence. That's why Algerian language unites all the culture and all the civilization when you speak it. It was a, a special video about the Berbers. Who are the Berbers? Who are the Amazigh? The Berbers and Amazigh, now you know that it's both the same thing. Amazigh is the free noble man. I have a lot of friends who are uh, Amazigh, who are Berber. They speak the language, they have their own language. I hope one day you will come to Algeria to visit. You're gonna visit Bijaya, it's a beautiful city, Tizi Wizu, a beautiful city of so many friends there. And you have also all the Kabili. The Kabili, la Kabili, the region of Kabili is very beautiful. Welcome, please. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Uh, don't forget, hit the button, subscribe, my heart, my words, my mind to you. Welcome to Algeria.